Hey everybody, it's Dr. Levitt here, and I'm at the office with a prop that I want to share with you. Let me lift it up for you here. That there is a bottle of meat tenderizer. A lot of people wonder what I'm doing with a bottle of meat tenderizer that belongs in a kitchen pantry here in my office, and I promise I will share that with you in a minute. But before I do, let's talk for a moment about musculoskeletal pain. I'm referring to orthopedic pain or joint pain in any area of the body. Now, when I see people who have joint pain, there's four main things I think about that lead up to this uncomfortable experience that we all know uh, as pain. The first thing is connective tissue damage. That is destruction that can be acute or immediate or chronic or prolonged or repetitive over time. Damage to connective tissues like cartilage or ligaments or tendons or muscles or bones. There's, so in addition to connective tissue damage, we also see inflammation that accompanies the connective tissue damage or the injury. Inflammation is a huge subject in medicine these days and certainly something that's talked a lot about in the, in the natural medicine industry, the inflammatory response. Subsequent to the inflammatory response, we often see muscle tension or muscle spasm in the area of an acute or chronic injury. Many people with back pain or knee pain will find that the muscles adjacent to the damaged structures are very tight and stiff and sore. And if that muscle tension persists for extended periods, we see the phenomenon of fibrosis. And fibrosis is like scarification or scarring of an area that's been tight for prolonged periods. See, muscle tension cuts off the oxygen supply and the blood supply to the affected muscle. And when that occurs over extended periods, we see the, the healthy, juicy flesh of a, of a tender, healthy muscle turn into something more tough or more fibrotic, more gristly, if you will. And many people with, with chronic musculoskeletal pain have deep muscle tension that develops into this tough or gristly muscle over time. Now that's where the meat tenderizer comes in. If you look closely at the ingredients of any meat tenderizer off the shelf like this one, you'll see, I don't know if you can see it here in the video, that the active ingredient in meat tenderizer is something called bromelain. And bromelain is an extract that comes from the pineapple plant, from the core, from the stem of the pineapple, and it is meat tenderizer. It's the active ingredient in this stuff, and it works just the same when taken orally in humans. It's an anti-fibrotic enzyme, and it can help to get into the bloodstream and break up those fibrotic or scarified accumulations that develop in, in, in chronically tensioned muscles. I use bromelain all the time in clinical practice. It's an active ingredient, one of the primary ingredients in Up Wellness's formula AI4X, which is one of the things that makes it such a useful formula. So I hope that's a helpful analogy for you, a way to understand how bromelain fits into the context of musculoskeletal care. All right, hope you enjoyed that and take good care.